Yeah, I mean, it's cool. I mean, obviously, there have been so many great players in this organization. Um, and to set the record at home, obviously, very special. But at the same time, the most important thing to me tonight was the win. Um, five and six against a good football team, against a really good run defense. Um, they got good players up and down that defense. So something that we needed tonight um, and something that allowed us to continue to have the every opportunity um, in terms of the postseason in front of us. That was the most important thing. Yeah, I mean, I think this year is definitely taking that next step. Um, I thought last year we were playing at a high level, but I think this year we've kind of taken that next step. Um, we see the game so similarly. We talk about football all the time. Uh, we're fully invested in being the best players we can be for this team and this organization. And we just love the game of football. We love talking about it. We love um, the fine art of route running and the timing of the quarterback and the tight end. And I think you can see it each and every Sunday. Most of the time, there's been one time this year I think we've seen something different. And other than that, we see the game very similarly. And it's a lot of fun playing with him. I mean, the guy is so competitive. He's so talented. Um, it's really fun. You got Darren in there tonight, and Golden had a big night uh, for the first time. Do you guys feel like you found something tonight? Yeah, I mean, I mean, putting up that many yards against that defense um, is very – I think it's very revealing about where we're at as an offense. Obviously – we have the ball inside the five twice and don't get any points. It's tough. Um, but at the same time, we didn't panic after those drives. And we've got a lot of good players on offense. And this isn't about me at all. Um, everyone else is doing their job tonight. And that was the most important thing, coming out here, finding a win. So happy for Darren. He's been through the gamut uh, the past 11 weeks of trying to get right from this hamstring thing. And uh, just proud of all the work he put in to get to this point. He could have easily called it quits and said, man, maybe this just isn't for me anymore. Um, but he really stu stuck to the process and just found a way to get healthy. And we need him. I mean, he's a dynamic player, and he he's really helpful for our football team. Hey, Zach, the offense seems to finally be clicking after all season struggling for bits of it. Why do you think that is? Um, I mean, I think it just takes time. We got new faces. Obviously, Carson didn't start the year um, bringing in new guys. Um, but we work really hard in practice. I mean, we're grinding for three days during the week trying to get this thing right. We understood that the talent level on the offense wasn't matching their production. Um, and guys were not panicking by any means. Um, we were just focused on being better from the previous week. And I think it's finally starting to click um, against the defense tonight. That I mean, that front seven is probably one of the best in the league. Um, Josh Norman's one of the best corners, two really good safeties. Um, so it was a really good performance. We held the, held the ball for a long time. and. Most importantly, I mean, our team is built to play with the lead um, and coming out fast, getting seven points early, something we haven't really done, been successful um, in most of these games. So that was probably the biggest thing that I took from tonight was we finally started fast. Hey, Zach Whitten's uh, record is the one coming up next. Yeah. Can you express what he's meant to you, um, you know, through your career looking up to him and uh, what's like the approach Yeah, in terms of route running, I mean, just studying him for so long. Um, f finding the intricacies uh, of how he ran routes is something that I studied from the moment I came into the league. Since I had the opportunity to really study tight ends and study their film, he was the guy I was always watching because it seemed like third down. Um, he was always getting his number called, and he was always attacking leverage. And so I just really just modeled my game after him. I think there's there are some differences, but there's a lot of similarities. Um, and he, I've said it since I was 16. He was the guy that was always on TV, unfortunately, back in California. And he was the guy that I was forced to watch. But at the same time, it was the perfect guy for me to watch because I was able to see at 16 years old how a tight end should play. Um, I have the ultimate respect for him. He knows that. Um, we have a good relationship. Uh, I obviously wish he didn't play for the Cowboys, but um, it was fun playing against him, too, for a couple of years. And the only, the only jersey that he ever gave away, I believe, was, was to you. Yeah. Uh, what's the meaning behind that? Yeah, he just, uh, you know, he, he he's told me in the past, you know, it wasn't because that he was my favorite tight end growing up. It, he, he said it was because of the, he really respected how I played the game um, and how, how I was always trying to get better. He, he said he was watching my game from the moment I came into the league. Um, and he was one of the – that I was one of the guys he would study in the off season. And having the, being the only guy that he ever traded jersey with is honestly special. Obviously, everyone knows how I feel about him. And uh, – I'm excited for the game next week in Dallas. There was a um, ESPN report yesterday that said that uh, from a team source that the offensive problems were getting too many targets. Uh, did you know, hear of that? What did you make of it? 
Uh, I did hear of it, obviously. Um, obviously, um, there, there are things that come out. Playing in the NFL for six years, there are things that come out, sources all the time. Um, I don't feel like I, – I hope I'm not the problem. I don't think I'm the problem. I'm just trying to be the best tight end I can be. Um, I said it all along, it's all about efficiency um, when it comes to targets and catches. Uh, I feel like we're efficient in that regard. Um, and I think, I mean, I'm just focusing on tr trying to put wins on tape. That's the only thing I try and do. Um, I don't really focus on whether I get the ball or not. I've said it all along, whether I get two catches or ten catches. The most important thing to me is winning football games, and I thoroughly believe each and every guy in that locker room feels the same way. Um, there's never been a doubt of selfishness from anyone in that locker room. And um, I don't think I don't, I don't want to give it too much merit. It just is what it is. Um, focused on the win tonight. I felt like everyone got the ball. Felt like it was a, it was a good team win, and that's what I'm focused on. Did you at all address it with the team, or did you just not care for the report? No, I didn't care at all. Um, I don't think there was anything to address. Um, I mean, it was an anonymous source, so if it was one of my teammates, I felt like they. I mean, I'm I don't have a motive by any means. I feel like we have a great relationship with all my teammates. And I got. I mean, I, I can't give too much credit to an anonymous source because I don't know who it was. Zach, it's a short week this week, but Doug's not looking back out on the field uh, for practice until Thursday. Yeah. You know, I guess how thankful are you for that? And you think that's the way to go. Yeah, I mean, typically we don't start practicing until two days after a game. Um, it would be really tough to go out there on Wednesday and play a football game after a physical football game like we just had. Um, and, and at this point in the year, the, the recovery is sometimes more important than the little little details. I mean, obviously, we played these guys a couple weeks ago. Um, I played them. This is going to be my 12th time playing them. So they know me. I know them. Um, it's going to come down to how fresh can we be for that game. Um, that's going to be the most important thing for a lot of guys, just trying to get your body right. Obviously, it's going to be week 13 for us, so that's how your body feels right now. And guys are going to be in the training room, living in the training room. Hopefully, we'll get some more of these injured guys back. Um, but um, I think that's the right schedule in terms of practicing. Um, I'm, I want to be on the field each and every play, but at the same time, Dallas is playing really well. Um, I got a lot of confidence each and every time he's in the game. I got a lot of confidence in the coaches doing what they do, drawing out the game plan. Um, it's not saying that fourth and one, I'm off the field. It's based on the play that they already have called. Um, the, so each and every week, they personnel the plays. Um, I can't play every snap. Obviously, we've gotten that early in the year, and it's just not sustainable. Um, so that was a play where Dallas was in. Uh, it was a scramble, or it was a automatic uh, sprint out to the right, and he was backside. And, it was a great play call. Zach, you said, a few week, you said a few weeks ago that you had to believe despite the evidence. Yeah. Uh, two wins since then, and now you're playing for first place on Sunday. Just kind of what was the feeling um, in the locker room after this one? Yeah, I mean, guys are obviously extremely happy. It's really tough to win football games in this league, as we found out the first 11 games of this year. Um, obviously, we didn't start the way we thought we were going to. Um, but I, I think this win really speaks to the overall resiliency of this football team, the character of the guys in the locker room. Obviously, at four and six, when we got drilled by the Saints a few weeks back, everyone had the opportunity to kind of put their head to, heads down and sulk. Um, but guys in that, fo in that locker room really love the game of football. I think guys really love their craft. And I mean, we went to work. And obviously, six and six now, not where we wanted or thought we were going to be. But at the same time, we got the whole season in front of us. Um, I think we're close. I think we're really close. Um, obviously, we scored two touchdowns in the, inside the five-yard line tonight. Uh, we're putting up 40 against a really good team. And so if we're able to execute in the low red zone, um, just finding little things to be better at each and every week. Um, but I think we're close to reaching our ultimate potential as an offense. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.